Ask Rodid by General But Naked. What will be the most useless profession in a post-apocalyptic world? Telemarketer. Well when your car goes up in atomic hellfire and your extended warranty is expired because no one has been able to reach you about it then you'll be sorry. Wealth manager. Tax advisor. Hedge fund manager. Some would argue that these jobs are all so superfluous pre-apocalypse. And don't forget business consultants and stock market analysts. Influencer. Immediately what I thought followed directly by sadness, that influencing can even be considered a profession now. Fuck. Regulatory Compliance Auditor I don't know, I feel like OSHA compliance might be more important when there's no longer a hospital to go to. Probably what I do. I work in casino regulations. The casino industry will definitely survive the apocalypse possibly even thrive. I'm guessing the regulations part will take a major hit, though. Walmart greeter. Welcome to Costco, I love you. Having played all the Fallout games for years the answer is apparently cleaners, builders, garbage many TC. Basically anyone who would try and tidy up at all. It's a shame the nukes destroyed all of the world's broom technology in Fallout. Telephone sanitizer. Oh wait, they're already gone. They were in the b -arc, remember? So that they would survive the planet bring eaten by the giant space goat. Assistant to the regional manager. That's why he has the beach farm. Crypto trader. They aren't even useful at the moment. If a nuclear war wipes out the power grid then who cares about food and water when I have digital gold baby. Retirement broker. Life coach. You too can survive the horses of mutated chickens if you believe in yourself. Repeat this mantra. I'm not gonna die today. Real estate agent. So, the same as today. Dog walker. I mean the dogs would have mutated into giant killing animals with long teeth. In post-apocalyptic world, dogs walk you. It because the lag of technology after we nuked us to death lol. I like to believe that's not 100% true. The it skills themselves are definitely going to be useless. The it people however not. The reason is, it is not just skill of actual programming or networking or whatever, but mainly it's about efficient and structured problem solving. You are given a problem, and limited number of tools, and you figure out how to make it work. Immo the skill will always be useful. Game show host. Could be very entertaining though. Is running man a joke to you? Podcaster. Actually I think these would be important, radio is always the last communication line to go. Their skills could come handy. Insurance salesman, I mean it's already gone to sh1d. Diversity officer. Karen from DI always going on about how our team has too much skin. Twitch streamer and anything similar. Anything cosmetological mayo. This will never not be a thing look at all tribes ever. Beauty even if the standard changes will always be in. Deleted. I mean, there are surely some advantages of being a tour guide. The profession would be useless after the apocalypse. But you would have acquired interesting capacities such as. A good knowledge of your area. Especially of the fortification if you are somewhere with a lot of castles and fortified cities. A good endurance to be able to walk 4 hours every day. A strong voice to be heard by everyone in a noisy environment. Somewhat of a leading spirit as you have to guide people, who already wants to be led it somewhere, but still, you're more used to leading people than a lab assistant. Cardation. I really don't understand their use now, 
let alone in the future. Accountant I'm an accountant and don't think we'll follow the same IFRS post-apocalypse. I'll have to consider something else to do with all my Excel skills. Well, you could always become a literal bean counter. Easy. Telephone sanitizer.